According to research, 37 million Americans have kidney disease, which means that 1 in 7 Americans has kidney problems and 90% of them are unaware. This is because chronic kidney damage occurs silently and symptoms of the damage only begin to show after you've lost 90% of your kidney function. This is wild. When your kidneys fail, life becomes incredibly challenging. You'll experience constant pain and fatigue, follow a strict diet and limit your fluid intake. Dialysis, which takes several hours for each session, becomes essential for your survival. Plus, there's the emotional strain with anxiety and depression often accompanying the treatment. Before we dive right into talk about the top 8 things killing your kidneys, let's take a look at the functions of the kidney to help us understand the effects of kidney damage. If you already know the functions of the kidneys, just skip this part of the video to where I talk about top 8 kidney killers. So, what are the functions of the kidneys? 1. Removal of waste and toxins the kidney is responsible for the removal of both toxins produced from within the body and those obtained externally. Examples of internal waste products are creatinine and urea. During exercise, the muscles break down and this leads to formation of creatinine which is excreted from the body. Urea is an acidic waste product produced when the body breaks down proteins. If the kidney is bad, urea and creatinine accumulate. The problem with urea accumulating is this. You see. Our body is alkaline and this alkaline environment makes it difficult for cancer and microorganisms to thrive. But when acidic compounds accumulate in the body, it makes our body less alkaline, making it easy for cancer and other microorganisms to thrive in our body system. 2. Kidney balances fluids in the body. Fluids make up about 70% of our body. If all this fluid is not taken out by the kidney regularly in the form of urine, it accumulates and leads to swelling of the body and this is why most patients with kidney failure experience swelling in all parts of their bodies. 3. Our kidney produces the hormone that regulates blood pressure. This hormone is known as renin. When released, renin produces aldosterone which helps retain sodium and water in the body when needed. You see, if the kidney is bad, renin will not be produced and this can lead to a low blood pressure that can lead to decreased blood supply to the brain and even cause strokes. 4. Kidneys activate vitamin D. I know you've probably heard that vitamin D is gotten from the sun, but what they don't tell you is that when the sun hits the skin, it goes to the liver where it is processed to a partially active form of vitamin D. From the liver, it then goes to the kidney where it is converted to it final active form called calcitriol. So, if your kidneys have a problem, you could be getting enough sunlight but still be deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to bone pains and muscle weakness. 5. Kidneys control the production of red blood cells by the release of the hormone erythropoietin. Erythropoietin stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. If there is no erythropoietin, it means that the bone marrow will not be stimulated to produce red blood cells leading to anemia that can have severe consequences like cardiac arrhythmias. So, if you notice that you are beginning to have swellings in your body, especially on your face, ensure to see a doctor because all these might be symptoms of a failing kidney. Now that we've seen the functions of the kidneys, let's talk about the killers of your kidney. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Your support will help others discover my videos and ultimately lead them to live a healthier life. So, number one killer of kidney is diabetes. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes are one of the most common causes of kidney damage. Diabetes leads to a high blood sugar which damages the kidney's blood vessels. If blood is not taken to the kidney, it can't filter the blood to produce urine. The kidneys also need blood to survive, which means that decreased blood supply to the kidneys can also lead to increased intrinsic kidney damage with the death of the kidney cells. The second most common kidney killer are painkillers known as NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs in full. Examples of NSAIDs are aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac and others. NSAIDs also reduce blood flow to the kidneys. A decrease in blood flow leads to what is known as acute kidney disease or AKI. If AKI is not properly managed, it will progress to chronic kidney disease or CKD, 
which is probably one of the worst things that can happen to your kidneys because it is irreversible. 3. Processed foods that are high in sugar and salt. Salt and sugar in processed foods are usually synthetic and are damaging to the kidneys. If this damage goes on for long enough, it can lead to chronic kidney disease or CKD. 4. Dehydration. We all know that childbirth is said to be the most painful experience in the world. The next most painful thing is kidney stones and dehydration is the number one risk factor for development of kidney stones. If you develop stones, these stones can actually damage your kidney tissue making it difficult for it to perform its functions and leading to failure of the kidney. 5. Excess meat. Meat is high in protein and excess protein can lead to intraglomerular hypertension, glomerular injury and proteinuria. You see, the glomerulus is the filtration unit of the kidney's nephrons. It's like the sieve that helps to select the things that go in and out of the kidneys. So, if the glomerulus is damaged, a lot of important components of the blood will leak into the kidney tubules and become lost in the form of urine. 6. Alcohol Alcohol can damage the components of the kidneys making it less able to perform its function of removal of waste from the body. 7. Smoking Smoking is detrimental to the kidneys because it reduces blood flow to the kidneys. Smoking also increases the risk of high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes, both of which are significant risk factors for kidney disease. Quitting smoking is one of the best steps you can take to protect your kidneys and overall health. 8. High Salt Diet a diet high in salt increases blood pressure and places extra strain on the kidneys. Most processed and restaurant foods are laden with sodium which can contribute to hypertension and consequently lead to kidney damage. Reducing salt intake by cooking at home, reading your food labels and opting for fresh, unprocessed foods can help maintain healthy blood pressure and kidney function. And we've come to the end of the video. If you've learned anything at all, please subscribe to support my channel. In my next video, I'll be talking about the best foods to eat for your kidneys even if you already have chronic kidney disease. Stay tuned. Until next time. Bye.